Who wants it? What? Who wants it? For the day, you mean? Yeah. No matter. There you go, grain haulers. It's your week. Back out, load. Me and Corey here, we're the foot soldiers for this operation. The absolute foot soldiers. This is grain haulers, baby. Corey down there. I made it back. Viewers need to see the struggles. This is a struggle. The struggles this, we go through. This downspout right here that runs down the quarry. It's full of bees wings from the distributor, distributor fan. I don't think it's been working. Now we're in there. We're trying to push a fish tape up. Tape this thing that David made on it. And also a rope so we can pull back and forth to clean it out and see what happens. Garrett's in there. It's usually a fantastic day when you find yourself in the distributor. View of the downspout, I guess. Out the distributor to the conveyor to the big bin. Yeah, solid. Garrett's actually in this drum. Corey's waiting for some tape that David's getting. How you doing, Travis? He went and hit the tape, didn't he? Huh? He tried. Oh yeah, he got the tape for David. Truck's lined up, waiting to dump. Can't dump. Can't dump, can't pick. Can't pick. No bueno. Yeah, no bueno. <laughs> oh, you're probably 5% of the way there already. I'm telling you what. We got her coming out now, boys. Good. Good progress. Hope not. Okay, I guess I'll unwind this snake out here, huh? Feed it to you. Alright. Probably easier that way. Got it. Hard already? Yeah. Yeah. A little progress there, huh? Boy, the landscape sure is a changing. Garrett, you can't see my flashlight in there, can you? 
What? Can you see his flashlight? No. Come on, done. Yeah, but I'm not sure if the thread's stripped out of, you know. Oh, uh, thread stripped out or turned it the wrong way, maybe. Yeah, who knows? We'll see what happens. All I know is Jared Banks is up here. We'd have this done by now. <laughs> well, let's see if we can't get these together and back through to you. What we got going on here is a downspout. That big bin there is plugged up because it hadn't been used this year. Just been used the one out of the dryer. Still the dry, wet leg. So they're up there cleaning it up. Four guys are up there. They said I didn't have to come and I guess Travis didn't either. Ain't no need for six. <laughs> Hey, we think we got her snake stick manufactured cross a little horsepower by garrett in there and uh see if we can get it off now and run a little core and hopefully it works uh, reese is coming down they think they got the pipe unplugged now they got a little problem getting it into the drag so they're working on that how was it up there Kind of pretty. It's a real nice night. On a scale of one to negative five, how cool do I look right now? Pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. What about negative five? I yeah, know. Travis. <laughs> I know. I set the no, high. I, I set you. the high at one. <laughs> I set the high at one. We got the drag running on top, waiting for him to tell us to run some corn or not to give her a try. We'll ride a little more corn. Ride a little more corn. Okay, I've got my shovel out. I'm gonna run a little bit more corn. <laughs> getting her, I'm getting her. All After two weeks of continuous running, we got our first rain delay. So now the shop is busy. The tarp's on. The tarp's on. Tarp's on. The rain delay, the tarp's on. Oh, gotcha. Got the grounds crew out. <laughs> George is taking off his air reel. That's a bad sign. Got a broken piece. Didn't realize that until I drove it. Got it up here. So you're giving it a thumbs down grade on the air reel? Yeah, it's no good. If anybody Hello. wants to try a Crary air reel, we got one for sale, half price. <laughs> Whatever that is. Seems like a deal you can't pass up. <laughs> we just put this on here. I don't now know you're why taking you it, it off. Now I'm taking it off. I was told to. <laughs> well, operator says he doesn't like it, so we're taking it off. Mm, bummer. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. On to the next great thing. Yeah. And we're gonna be moving corn. We are running out of room, so we're shifting around from this place where we can dry at to Allendale. Have some bins that we're renting. So we're gonna do a little shuffle here. Good problems. We got these cameras here that work on our phones through Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna hook, hook the Wi-Fi back up. We unhook it because our phones keep connecting to it from the shop and then our phones don't work. So it's time to hook her back up again. Got her hooked up, camera facing the right way. Moving a little corn from the home farm down to Fred's because uh, waiting on some of our corn to dry, it wasn't drying, so now we got to bring it up here. Reese has got this really cool camera system set up. We can watch from our phones while we're filling up. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go out and show you what we've been doing to the corn head today. You remember we put on a new chopping gearbox the other day on the 
outside row on a 1412 case corn head. Right, your box is out, your blade ain't turned, the roll hangs up worse. I think that blade's hitting the roll as it comes through. It makes it want to hang up a little. Try it turned like that, it won't stay there. <laughs> I'll we'll have one in the morning. I won't have one in any stores. Was not easy. Been an inside roll. Right here would have been the gearbox. It would have come right off. The outside one comes out here, hits this frame piece. Therefore, you got to slide the whole roll over about three quarters of an inch. So it turned out to be quite a job. This gearbox right here. Okay, we did that. Put it on here. Brand new. Ran one and a half day and broke because I didn't put oil in it. Got two gearboxes for oil here and here. And I know that they come without oil. Forgot it. So it burnt right up. So now we got another new one on. So now what we're doing, we're taking these gathering chains, these guys. Are turning them over putting this lug up like this instead of like this because it's getting drier now the stalks we're getting we get, aggressive around here we're getting, get, aggressive. getting aggressive because the flux fluff builds up the more aggressive you can get these gathering chains the better off you are it won't stop the problem but it helps the problem so we're trying that we've been trying to straight just case corn head off today because it's a uh, cut though few acres well, I was two and a half years old now to the third about a third way through corn got 18 19 2,000 acres this head runs through a lot of corn so he's going to get a new gearing off with the new type snap and roll that does chopping which looks like it might actually work but there's only one around it's a demo and they don't know if they can get it so we got this puppy some stouts put on out there a brand new one we're having a little trouble with these older snouts they are vibrating and after this many acres this end cracks right here right here enough vibration this starts to crack we're putting this plate on to hold them a little better see this one out here i did not bend this snout up that's what happened to it. The end just fell off, cracked after that much acres and busted off, which I can't follow it because it's got a lot of acres on it, a lot of vibrating. So anyway, we're getting that done, getting the change turned over, put on a new gearbox. We are ready to roll. I'm going to be a great hauler today. I'm driving a truck off and in our gray Peterbilt. Me, Corey, and Travis are all running pretty hard trying to keep up with a flat rock. We're not really keeping up. They're full every time I get there. Go as fast as we can and we'll get the bins and foam filled up today. Then we'll get moved up north, start hauling in the rocks. And back and forth, back and forth. Ready to load me up. Is a lot of corn. Messengers with me though, some special guests riding with me. What's your name, boy? That's you say hello? And my wife, hello. Rachel, my beautiful wife, brought daddy some lunch. And my little boy, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Wave at camera. You wave. <laughs> you don't want to wave. Made her back. Come back around here and get my weight. 
Uh, Gerald here to look at some stuff for the strip tiller. Got my weight. I'm ready to go dump. Thing that's always going to go in the spring to get everything full. Matter of fact, we can't hold it all either. We've rented some bins, still not going to hold it. We're going to take some police to land. Good problems. Like Dad always says, good problems are still problems. We're dumping. Trip, you got the corn to test? Yeah, all right, let's go. We'll get the moisture, make out our ticket. Gotta keep track of everything. Come on, do a little math. You trip Ivers? Yeah. Don't press the green button for me, Trip. Yeah. So we can see how wet the corn is. Move that over. Drone lady. Do that so we can dry it down so we know how much we have to sell. Make her ticket. We'll keep everything documented. Out here burning a little midnight oil. Trying to get as much done as we can today. Eli's loading up the last load. It's about quarter to eight. 
getting her done. Loading her up. Well, there ain't nothing like chicken lights and chrome, though, is it? Come on. Last load of the evening. Next last load. I'll fill this place up. Corey's coming in behind me with the last one. Last thing with any room left. That's where we're going with it. Hey, we're grain hauling today. Me and Ashton from Indianapolis. He's got a message for all you that have been watching. Like and subscribe always. Like and subscribe.